Hey everybody, I'm Raven Maureen. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode of sewing for my bachelorette trip or my friend's bachelorette party. And this week I am going to be making some leopard silky pajamas. I have this fabric that I bought from fabric.com years and years and years ago. I am going to use the Ogden cami and the shorts from this pattern just cause it's uncomplicated that way. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut my fabric. I've already got my patterns cut out and we're gonna get started. The first step I did was extend the lining of the Ogden cami. I measured from my shoulder down my bust and extended it by three inches. It's been so many years, but I made the Ogden cami over 10 times. So at this point, I know that I need to do this step. The key thing to remember when you are extending pattern pieces is that you wanna make sure that you do this for the front and the back as well. That way they match up once you sew them together. Next, I decided to use the shorts from New Look 6737. I stitched my front to the back at the inner seam leg using the front shorts pattern piece and the back shorts pattern piece. Now with both pieces and with right sides together, I sewed the inner leg seams and the crotch area. Next. I made sure that I reinforced the seat of the pants to avoid any sort of embarrassing moments. I used the triple stitch on my machine and sewed right along the curve to make sure that when wearing my shorts, I don't have a split or anything like that. And you wanna make sure you do that right within the seam allowance. And then I finished the edge with my serger. Next, I added in my pockets. I serged the pockets and the side seams of the shorts off camera to make sure that once everything was complete, I would have finished edges all around. I like to make sure that the notches on the side seams match the notch on the pockets. That way they are even on all sides. Next, I sew all four pocket pieces in place using a quarter inch seam allowance, and then you wanna give this a really good press at your iron.
Once the pockets are in place, I sew all of the side seams together, making sure that I go around the curves of the pockets separately. Afterwards, I baste each pocket to the front top of my shorts. That ensures that they stay in place when wearing them. Back at the sewing table, I pinned my waistband to the shorts. Now, I did make some modifications to the waistband. I extended the length of the waistband by one inch on the sides, and then I extended the width of the waistband by one inch to give the appearance of, of a wider look. After sewing down my waistband and adding in my elastic and my clothing tag to the back, I did a very narrow hem on the shorts. The fabric unfortunately just would not allow for a more sophisticated hem and that's okay because these are pajamas. And so we did a very narrow hem. Of course I finished those seams and we are done. These are my shorts. Tell me what you think in the comments. All right, we are moving on to making the Ogden Cami. Since I've made this pattern so many times, I'm working off complete memory with the steps. So the first step is to stay stitch the neckline of the main pieces and the lining pieces along with the armholes for all of the main pieces and all of the lining pieces. Okay, so back at the sewing table, I pinned right sides together for the front and the back main pieces, and I did the same for the lining pieces. For the sake of brevity, I did sew this off camera, and so now we are going to move on to the straps. And after sewing the straps off camera, I trimmed the seam allowance and Hold them to the right side using a loop turner, which is a really great tool to use for skinny straps or pulling any fabric through to the other side. I attach the straps to the front bodice and this pattern is so easy. We are nearly halfway finished, so I hope you're still with me. With right sides together, we are going to pin and sew the lining and the main pieces together. A few things I love about the Ogden Cami is that it is extremely versatile and you can hack it a few different ways, which explains why I've made this pattern so many times. This could really be a tank, a dress, you can make tie straps, that's something I've done before. You can add tiers and you can make it cropped. There's literally so many versions floating around the internet and 
in recent years, I know that True Bias has also extended their size range for this particular pattern. So there is a size range that has darts and whatnot in it. And because I bought the original pattern piece, when the extended sizes came out later, True Bias actually sent me that file as well as a courtesy, which was really nice of them. Okay, so back at the table, I clipped in notches at the neckline and the armholes on each side to make sure that the tank top curves where it needs to curve. I pressed this off camera before heading back to my machine to edge stitch the lining. And for the final step, I did a narrow hem on the bottom of this as well, and we are all finished. My Ogden cami is complete, and so are my shorts. Let me know what you think about the entire set in the comments. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much. If you like this video or have any questions about anything that I use in this video, don't forget to put it in the comments below. Also hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.